A blessed Trinity Sunday to you all, brothers and sisters, with the Trinity being my all-time favorite team ever, infinitely better than the Golden State Warriors. And welcome to Pathways of Hope, Sunday Gospel Reflection on John 16, 12 to 15. My name is Alden Salvania, and as I reflected on our gospel today, my glance caught this line. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you to all truth. And right away, the word truth stands out for me. Truth is mentioned at least 224 times in the Bible. This passage is most relevant to us nowadays because our recent national um, event revealed what might be termed as a crisis of truth, which if you think about it is worse than the financial or health crisis with millions of Pinoys asking, what is the truth? While many are confused, interestingly, many more are sure that they have the truth at opposing ends of the argument. Now I will go beyond the political discussion today because I believe there's more at stake here than just government officials and political parties. I actually wonder if our passage today can shed light on this crisis of truth that causes confusion, conflict, and destruction. Here's the answer from Scripture of how our hearts and minds can be more receptive to the spirit of truth so it can guide us into greater freedom as God's children. We get instruction from another passage. If my people will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Let's examine three key phrases that call us to concrete action so we can better open our hearts to the spirit of truth who will remove the darkness of our confusion. First key phrase, humble themselves. Another passage explains what humility does. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Value especially those who are not valued by society not as much, so you can help them uplift their lives. The next key phrase from the passage is, seek my face. How do you seek the face of God? Another passage, if you cry aloud for understanding and search for it, as you are searching for hidden treasure, like the widow who constantly pleaded with the unjust judge for justice, that he eventually had to relent because he was pissed with her insistence. Then the Lord, like the unjust judge, will grant you greater understanding and loving fear of the Lord, and you will know his wonderful plan for your life. But do you bug the Lord frequently enough so that he can show you his face, his will, and his mercy? Or are you too civilized, <laughs> maybe too proud to ask? Mm. Something to think about. The next key action phrase is turn from wicked ways. How do we turn from our wicked ways? Matthew 3.8 very curiously describes it as produce fruit in keeping with repentance. Uh, that can sound so, so uh, vague, but the best explanation is like what Zacchaeus did after meeting the Lord. Beyond touchy-feely conversion, he acted immediately by giving half of his possessions to the poor and repaid four times those he cheated. So in summary, these actions done with love will open the grace for the Lord to heal our lives and our land. So humble ourselves by serving those who are blessed relentlessly pray and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways, like Zacchaeus. It might not be giving up half of what we have, but you can pray. What is the Lord asking you 
to give freely so others can live better lives. Pray with me, brothers and sisters. Your truth alone, Lord, sets us truly free. Help us to lean not on our own understanding, but to surrender our lives and future in your hands. Help us to put others first in service. Grant us the grace to seek first your will. Help us to take steps to turn our wicked ways into acts of charity. And please, Lord, heal our land. So, brothers and sisters, trust that the Lord's will and timing is perfect. Submit to him. And if you are blessed by this reflection, please share it so you can bless others as well. Have a spirit-filled life. Bye-bye, and see you soon.